Good evening, I'm Stephanie Hicks. I'm Glenn Halbrooks. We have your local news first. ASU has released the results of its own audit that showed dramatically different results than an audit Governor Robert Bentley had done on how the university spends money. ASU officials say their audit, which shows no major problems, is the one that's accurate. New at 10, reporter Ashley Thompson joins us live with the big story on Alabama News Network. Interim President William Harris refuted each and every point made in this FSS report, which was the audit ordered by the governor, and has called this year a year from hell for the university. But we're here today to show you, to tell you, and to show you, FSS proves nothing. That was the message Alabama State University officials wanted to get across. Interim President William Harris says the audit report ordered by Governor Robert Bentley is flawed and has only caused problems for the university. There isn't a document that we have that we don't have here. To summarize the response, ASU now says the university conducts business with the highest level of integrity and says they have found no conflicts of interest pertaining to board members. We have reviewed every transaction we have had. We have reviewed statements made by the chairman of the board of trustees. We have made read dis the disclosure statements. Nothing. ASU officials also say the governing board does not overstep its boundaries and that board members have not mismanaged money. So why did the governor's audit report show otherwise? It's a question Harris says he can't answer. I have no idea. I, don't, I, I have no idea how they got it so wrong. Other than uh, uh, at some point I think they had a mission to get it wrong and found what they wanted to find. But the investigation into ASU is still not over. Governor Bentley has turned over the FSS audit report to both state and federal investigators. We just need to let the legal system work through this. Uh, the, um, the state is working on it. The federal government is working on it. Uh, there are issues that, that we know about that, uh, and, and some that we don't know about, but if, if they have if they have a grand jury, they will find out about those because people have to testify under oath. Now, another allegation in the governor's audit pointed to a breach of contract with Medicaid, saying the university overspent nearly a million dollars. ASU is refuting this, and ASU reps and Medicaid reps are slated to discuss this next month. Stephanie. All right. Thanks so much, Ashley. Now, ASU officials have now handed their response over to SACS, the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. SACS requested information from ASU in, uh, in October after the governor's audit findings were released.